the Argentine submarine that disappeared with 44 crew members on board was being chased by a British helicopter before it vanished, it has been claimed. Jessica Medina, the grief-stricken sister of missing sailor Roberto Daniel Medina, revealed she had received a strange message from her brother days before the vessel's last known communication. In a WhatsApp message he told her that the RSM-1 had traveled close to the Falkland Islands, and claimed that a British helicopter was trying to track them. Second sub-officer Roberto told her they were now heading for home, writing, On Monday an English helicopter was looking for us, and yesterday the Chilins, there has been a lot going on. A Royal Navy spokesman has dismissed the woman's claims as untrue. Jessica told Argentina's La Gaceta newspaper that many other families of other missing crew members also received reports from their loved ones that they had been fleeing a British helicopter. She said, It was a strange message in which he told us a British helicopter and a Chilean ship had been chasing them. I don't know why he said it. But unfortunately we didn't continue with that conversation, we started talking about other things the kids, the family, and it stayed like that. It was his last message. Jessica said the sub sailed close to the Falklands, which Argentina calls Malvinas, on November 3, alerting the British Navy which began searching for the vessel. She added, I don't know how close they got to the Malvinas, and I don't know what the political situation is like. That's what he told us and that is what we were left with. A Royal Navy spokesman said, This story is completely untrue. Britain doesn't have any anti submarine helicopters based in the Falklands, they added. Jessica, from Salta, said she didn't show the message to the Argentinian authorities after the submarine went missing on November 15 because she didn't feel able. But she said she is making the message public now so that it can be included in a federal investigation into the disappearance headed by federal judge Marta Yanez. She added, I think we're not the only family who has heard something like this, I think there are many others, Judge Yanez will have to investigate. We all feel they are hiding things from us. There, Argentine. Navy has practically tortured us with all this situation they have made us live. The German-built sub went missing on November 15 in the South Atlantic as it made its way back to the Navy base in Mar del Plata, with 43 men and one woman on board. The vessel last made contact with commanders to report that water had entered through its snorkel and caused a battery fault. Experts said the crew only had up to 10 days of oxygen if the sub remained intact under the sea. An explosion was later detected around the time and place where the submarine last made contact. The search for the sub is still ongoing but naval officials have admitted they hold out no hope for the survival of the crew, while Judge Yanez, who is now probing the circumstances surrounding the vessel's disappearance, admitted the submarine may never be found or recovered.